Hey everybody, it's Karen from Art for Acrylics. Welcome to my Fluid Art channel here at Studio 205. Glad to have you tune in. Today's um, a pretty special event. I'm kicking off the Pride Month collaboration. Myself and 19 other artists are celebrating Pride Month. Um, go to the description section. I click on the title of the video and you'll find the playlist so you can follow along and hop from video to video. We're not going to do 21 day. We're going to break it up over the next three days um, to celebrate. And I'm happy to be doing this. My heart goes out to those that are discriminated against. Man, be tolerant and treat people with kindness. That's all I got to say. I'm going to try my best to do something extra hella pretty today. So let me get you down. All right, guys, I got a thin 18 by 24. It was scraped from something long ago. Got my PPG Multi Pro down. And when we were told that we were going to use um, all the different pride flags that you could pick from any pride flag from all over the world, I started looking at them all and I got overwhelmed. <laughs> There's like so many of them. And so I'm cheating and just like using all the colors. Like anything in my palette pretty much is guaranteed, guaranteed to be in a pride flag somewhere. <laughs> so the first color I'm going to use, of course, is Carnacridone Nickel Azo Gold. And I'm going to put that first and I really really want this to be bright and happy and full of joy and love so I'm going to try something I haven't done before um, let's put some cronacridone magenta which um, it's a little bit lighter than it is in the bottle I only used like three drops because I wanted a lighter version of it to have it go pink so there is magenta and then on top of the magenta bright and happy we're going to use uh, a pigment this is this, this little piggy in ballet slipper so I'll put that on top all blingy so there's like my pinks and, and orange and then how many colors do I have? Like six or seven? Six. So next up, we're going to do, let's see. We're going to go with two more piggies. So this next one, this is Unicorn. And good grief, I love this color. I like the next one even better. So there's Unicorn. And on top of Unicorn, we're gonna put Gina's color, her pigment color. So this is, my mind just left me. Oh my goodness, it'll come to me. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go and get the bottle. Oh, don't you hate when that happens? Like I just had it in my head a second ago. Oh, it's gonna bother me. On behalf of Gina, it'll bother me. It is. Crescendo, jeez Louise. So there's Crescendo. And then on top of the Crescendo, we're gonna add a little bit of teal. This is my one opaque color. Everywhere, some in the middle there. And I'm gonna use two cell activators. I'm gonna use white and gold. I think I'm going to put down gold first. Like I said, no dark, nothing dark today. So there's gold CA. And then I'm going to put, that's Amsterdam's light gold. And then some Amsterdam titanium white cell activator on top of that. And let's blow it out. See what it looks like. I reserve the right to go again. Cool air, hi fan.
Okay, I gave a puff in the middle with a, a straw. Um, I love it. Very, very soft. Very, very pretty. Um, I was anti any kind of um, contrast because I just I tried earlier, um, you know, my typical black CA, and then I tried a phalo blue CA, and um, they did definitely provide contrast, but it also like gave me images of all the um, darkness and negativity, particularly this past year. Um, and I just didn't want it. So I'm liking how this looks so far. Let's get rid of my pink dot. <laughs> Go away. And give this a, a baby spin to see how it opens up. I'm really happy with the colors though. Okay, maybe not that much of a baby spin. Let's try that again. Oh my goodness, so soft, so, so pretty. Letting the paint run down a second. Just wanna stare at it, see if anything jumps out at me and I see some sort of dried paint or something. I need to grab tweezers to dig it out. There's like a bump, right? Oh, don't mess this up because this is so pretty. Yeah, see like um, from like the paint lid. Yep, gross. I need to check to make sure I got get enough paint off. But before I do, I want to get off like these little blobs here. I just want it to be as ethereal and beautiful as the people who are discriminate, discriminated against that I know are, if that makes any sense. So I wanted to do something extra, extra pretty for them today. So let me take off, yeah, there's, no paint here, a corner, and then this stuff. And, oh my goodness, you guys. Let me test it while the paint runs down the sides. Super, super pretty. It's been a long time since I used white as a cell activator, too. Hopefully I don't have to spin too, too much more because I don't wanna. So we'll go right here. Oh yeah, we're looking good. Hold on, I'll show you what my, if you're not familiar with my uh, little toothpick test, you just stick it like in the middle where it's deepest. If it goes more than halfway, up the bevel portion, you probably have too much paint. But this is pretty much on point. I don't see it, anything I wanna do to this. I love it. Um, let me get it on my drying table and get you guys down. Hold on. Okay guys, here's a close up of the wet results. I'll show the dry results in a future video just in the interest of time today. I am super happy. I used the white and gold cell activator. I think it just made it really soft um, and pretty, which is what I was going for. And I gotta tell you, I did agonize over some of the color choices um, and I'm missing blue and I feel bad about it, but it just, blue is too dark. So the teal will have to uh, suffice. I did get some green uh, mixed in, like the color blending made all the colors in the rainbow. So super happy about that. Um, I cannot wait to see Unicorn Crescendo and Ballet Slipper do their sparkly magic um, when this is dry. See, you really can't. It's so hard to see. You can tell in 
and parts of this though, it is really just going to uh, shimmer and glimmer. So there it be. Let me flip around. Hey guys, I'm back after all with the tacky results and I'm just showing you this um, in a couple different orientations because you got to see the bling. Oh gosh, do I have to turn on my light? I was hoping not to. Oh yeah, see that? And then amazing, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That's one orientation. There's a big shadow on it. That's me. <laughs> Let me flip it around. Hold on. Okay, here's orientation number two. The color shift is amazing and I am not having any luck getting it to show off. And I'm afraid to mess with it too, too much because it is very, very tacky. And I hate how dark it looks um, on camera. It is nowhere near that dark. What is going on? Let me put on my flash. Okay, guys, I'm grumpy that I can't get the uh, color shift and all the shimmer to show up. Uh, my camera does not like this painting with the lighting in my studio. But here's another orientation for you. And it looks, I'm telling you, it is so light and ethereal. And it looks so, so dark on camera. I'm standing way back. Maybe if I zoom in. Let me see. Yeah, see, it, it looks absolutely flat. I can't get it to bling out. Oh, I need a a better photographer than me. Anyway, it's hella, hella pretty, y'all. I hope you like it. Uh, now I am going to say goodbye. Let me flip. All right, guys, that's it for me today and my contribution, my tiny contribution to the Pride Month collab. Uh, we hope you stick around and watch the rest for today. The playlist is in the description section. If you're watching this live, it's in the pinned comments. Peace, love, tolerance, kindness to all. Y'all take care. I'll see you soon. Peace out.